Okay, I'm finna get locked up on the um, 17th for wanting to be around my child. Um, I let this be known about two days ago and I had a, a father call me from New York and he told me that if you are in threat of being locked up for contempt, you can demand for a jury trial. A lot of people don't know that. And you know how I know a lot of people don't know that? When I went to the the clerk's office in juvenile court, they were baffled. They didn't know. They didn't know that. But let's let me go over there. This is basically what I got right here. This is my documentation that I put in. And I have it all file stamped. But right here, demand for jury trial. Nathan I. Israel and proper persona assert his right to a trial by jury under Ohio Revised Code 2152. Point six seven, and that makes it and makes this written demand for a jury trial. Said demand was made no less than three days prior to the said trial date, and also I'll pay the required fee of twenty five dollars in accordance with Revised Code twenty three oh three point two zero. If there at any time you're in threat of going to jail for contempt, there are certain provisions where you don't have to allow that magistrate to lock you up. They already know. A magistrate can't lock you up for contempt if you demand a jury trial because those magistrates are very biased. If I was going to get in front of, I, I know for a fact I was going to get locked up. I was getting in front of uh, Deardorf. He's he hates fathers. He's like a slave master. He's been power crazy. He likes to take away children from their parents. <clears throat> Let's continue. Of course, you have to do a service request. So I make sure to do a service request here and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? But right here, what do we have here? And let me uh, blow this up a little bit. Okay, this is the uh, Supreme Court of Ohio desktop guide for juvenile court clerks. Now, why did I bring this out? I had this file stamped too, because I had to let them know something that they didn't know, that if they're trying to lock me up, I can request a jury trial. And everyone needs to know that. If you have a child support and they get you for contempt of child support and they're trying to lock you up, Request a jury trial because a magistrate just should not have the power to lock you up. They are already biased. But if you're in danger of being put in jail, request a jury trial. So what I had to do, I had to actually show them their own book because they did not know that I can do this. And I didn't know either. But like I said, I have, I've talked to a lot of fathers and a father from, and I'm going to go ahead and shout out his name, Marcel from, um, um, from New York, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but right here, let me show you the, basically this right here. He says, who's eligible, eligible for a jury trial in juvenile court? All right, we can, we can zoom in a little bit. Let me, let me go. Well, let me just read it right here. Let me see if they can make this bigger for the family. All right, well, let me just. All right, right here. Who is eligible for jury trial in juvenile court? Jury trials in juvenile court are extremely rare and occur only in cases of serious useful offenders and of adult defendants charged with child endangering. They said I was charged with child endangering. So therefore, he, I can ask for a jury to decide instead of a biased magistrate because that magistrate hates me. He never lets me talk. He never uses any. I have a mountain of evidence. He never used any of it at all. He ignores me. And in fact, when I try to present evidence, he tries to guide me and tell me what to say. It's really, and he does it all behind closed doors. But now, since he now he's trying to lock me up, it's against the, uh, let, me, let me keep reading. Any adult arrested or charged under the provision of a revised code, chapter 2152, may demand a trial by jury or juvenile judge upon judging the motions may call a trial by jury. Meaning if they try to lock you up, if they try to lock you up then um, all you have to do is request for a trial by jury, child support, custody. Let's continue though. I want to part right here. Father is extremely dangerous to the child. What do they say right here? Child endangering. So I was charged with child. If I'm charged with child endangering, and that's why I'm about to, they, they try to lock me up on the 17th. I'm charged with child endangerment, as it says right here. It said right here, 
the father is extremely dangerous to the child. That's what they want to say. So since I'm charged with child endangerment, then I, then I need six people from the community to judge me and not them low life magistrates who get paid by child support, get paid. Does they get state money from child support to make sure I stay away from my child and pay into the state? So they're, they're, they, and, and they know they're all behind closed doors. Every time I ask the judge to get the audio visual tape, you know, when somebody gets shot in a police shooting, they give them the audio visual tape eventually. But when it comes to all these fathers getting abused by these magistrates and saying that they can't see their children and they, and they locking them up, they'll never let us get the tapes. They never let us get the tapes. But like I said, right here, what does it say? If an adult defendant is charged with child endangering, then he is entitled to a jury trial. So now they, he try, they're trying to lock me up because supposedly I'm a danger to my baby, the baby I love. I'm a danger to my baby. So let me keep it going, though. And what's, what's, the, what's the beautiful part about this? Can a magistrate preside over a jury trial in juvenile court? Magistrate may not preside over jury trial in juvenile court since all trials of adult offenders are governed by the Ohio Reviews of Criminal Procedure, which especially exclude magistrates from hearing jury trials. So magistrates, so that now that just all that hating magistrate that I knew for a fact was going to lock me up. He's not even able to preside over the trial no more. Hopefully and prayfully, we have some decent people, six people out uh, in Cincinnati area that's going to be able to listen to my story. You know what I'm saying? But I don't definitely don't want no magistrate over. So remember, if they ever try to uh, lock you up, um, the magistrate, like, try to lock you up for child support, try to lock you up for uh, a few different things, ask for a jury trial. Let me continue. Like right here, it says father is extremely dangerous to the child. So therefore that is, and I guess how much it costs, it only costs $25 for a jury trial. So calling a jury, $25 per cause. So if they try to lock you up, um, you only, only thing you have to pay is $25 for a jury trial. But they don't know that. See, I went to the, I went to the clerk's office in the juvenile court and they were baffled. That's why I had to bring them their own manual. I had to bring them this manual right here. Supreme Court, let me let me uh, open this up a little bit. I had to bring them a desk out guide for juvenile courts to the Supreme Court of Ohio because they didn't even know their own rules. They don't even, they, in fact, I tried to give them the $25. They said they don't, they don't have nothing in their system to get the $25. It's like they never did it before. They never had a jury trial in the juvenile court before when they tried to lock niggas up. They locking hella people up with them bought and paid for magistrates and they all ignorant. But no, nah, no, nah, like I said, I deal with so many fathers on here that a father called me up and told me if they trying to lock you up, according to the law, you have a right to have a jury be able to lock you up. Not one of these biased magistrates that's already paid off and already treating all the fathers that come in there like dirt. But let me continue. The fees right here, it says $25 for calling a jury in any cause. $25. They try to lock you up for contempt of court. You can ask for a jury trial, child support. They try to lock you up for contempt of child support. Call a jury trial on them. Say, I want a jury of my peers to see if I should get locked up. Once you do that, then you, you, you no longer in front of that magistrate no more. Now you have to have a judge. So now you no longer in front of that same person that's abusing you all the time. So if any at any time they try to lock you up, Ask for a jury trial. Ask for the people in your community to judge you. Okay, jury trial for adults. Let me open this up a little bit. Adult who was arrested or charged under any provision in this chapter who was charged with a crime may demand a trial by jury. A crime is per uh, uh, contempt of court is a crime. If you charge with contempt, then you can get a trial by jury. Uh, you can, crime may demand a trial by jury or the juvenile judge upon a judge on motion may call a jury. A demand for a jury trial shall be made in writing and not less than three days before the date of for trial. So you got you got up until three days before they try to lock you up for not paying child support. But supposedly, like in my case, they want to have me out to be um, a danger to my child. And that's utterly ridiculous. And everyone knows that. That's why I cannot wait to have a jury trial and talk to my peers, the people in the community to, to choose. Because it's utterly ridiculous that I would be a danger to my child when I've been teaching for seven years. I'm not a danger to nobody's child. 
they don't, they don't even have a domestic violence, nothing on me. They don't got nothing on me. It's just what this biased magistrate said. He's going to be embarrassed for real. They try, and I'm going to go there on the 17th, and guess what? They're going to try to ignore this motion. I got a file stamp. They're going to ignore it because they, I don't think they ever had a jury trial in, in that place. Like I said, I tried to pay the $25 to get the jury trial, and they said, we got nothing in our computer to do that. But, I, but I'm clearly showing you in the Ohio codes that if you are about to get locked up, you're supposed to have one. So that's that's pretty much all I had to say on that note. Um, like I said, if you're charged with child endangering, and right here it says clearly father is extremely dangerous to the child, I'm extremely dangerous to my baby Ezra. Oh my God. Uh, that just, it's just, it just blows me. Like my baby, when he's happy, it makes me happy. He's my antidepressant. I would get stuff just to make him happy. And when he's smiling, don't, don't, don't get me to be, don't get me to be an emotional around here. Ain't no way in hell. I'm, I'm going to be a danger to my baby. It, it's an extreme danger. If you do anything to my baby, I'm going to tell you that much, but that's my baby. So, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, these magistrates can go here and lie on you and stuff like that, but let, let them lie. He said, I'm an extreme danger to my child. Now you can't even preside over my case no more, but I, you know, I'm really trying to figure out what they're going to do. Also, I want to say one more thing before I go. I'm going to get it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be saying this a little later, but the first three people to show up, I got XL shirts. Put it backwards. Fighting for fatherhood. It says uh, on the back, it says Father's Right Cincinnati. If you do have time on the 17th to show up to support me, I'll give you this shirt for free. You know what I'm saying? Just to, you know what I'm saying? For the support thing. Uh, so, yeah, I only got really three to hand out. But the first three people to fist bump me, first, you know what I mean? I, I, I ain't, I'm not going to be no type of bias or whatever. First three people to fist bump me, I'll give you one of these Fighting for Fatherhood shirts so we can show some solidarity up in there. You know what I'm saying? If you got time. On the 17th, I don't really believe they're gonna they're gonna try to lock me up. I think they they don't even want they don't even want the trial. I, it was like late November when I went um, for uh, to, I was supposed to get locked up, and they were talking about oh this is just a hearing to get locked up. No, it ain't. That ain't what it said on the paperwork. So they don't, they don't really want me to talk in that court because they already know I got enough information just to blow them out the water. He didn't even let me talk. So but like I said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, talk y'all head off. But I love y'all, man, and um. Just remember, man, they're trying to lock you up, ask for a jury trial in the juvenile court because they can't lock you up. Um, they can't they cannot. If, if they want if, they, if you have a fear of being locked up then that's not their job, that's criminal. That's criminal. That means you go you going into jail. So if you go into jail, then they don't have that. They don't have the jurisdiction. But only, but only only if you waive that right, do they have the jurisdiction. And most people waive the right because they're ignorant. They don't know. All right. All praises to the mighty Yahweh.